Hi guys and welcome back again to another video. Um, yesterday while I was um, finishing the video for the Steam Cache server that actually you can go and watch that video. Um, it's going to be linked in the description below. Uh, I came across um, in Twitter to a post from Onraid about um, a multi-streaming um, application from the community app that came across from Stefano Partida from SPX Labs and he's um, doing a tutorial on on-rate um, forums about how to set up that on on-rate with um, another app. Uh, actually, I already test this and it's working perfectly for even multiple streams at the same time even though in the example he only uses actually uh, one single stream and it's a Twitch stream but you can push multiple streams as long as they are on not on a secure server like I already attempted um, try to stream at the same time while I was twitching on while I was uh, streaming on Twitch and YouTube I tried Facebook but it doesn't work because Facebook use actually a secure connection. So use RTMPS instead of RTMP. So probably um, my friend here, Stefano Bertita, can look at this and probably do a little twist in the Docker container. So really quick, I'm going to show you on the, this was the tweet that I saw yesterday. Uh, this is the actual tutorial so I'm gonna leave everything in the description below so you can go check that out and I'm gonna do a quick setup on my on Ray server just uh, I'm gonna start from scratch so you can see how it is um, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go and you're gonna go to the uh, community apps and you're gonna go to the settings and you have to make sure that in the settings, just says here, it says enable additional search results from Docker Hub because probably this is already by default in no. So you have to make sure that this is in yes, hit apply, hit done. And once we go here, we're gonna search for DVD Gizen. And once we search for him you're gonna see that this is the docker container app so it's the ngx rtmp docker container so we're just gonna install it once we hit that you have to do a couple sets of uh, setups the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go here and it has to be in a host connection it can be on the bridge connection, it has to be on the host connection because what you're going to do is you're going to use Streamlabs to connect to OnRaid and OnRaid will broadcast your connection to the different servers. That's why it has to be a host because you're connecting to the host. And we're going to go here and add another path. The first path you're going to add is going to be, um, actually we're going to add the port first. We're going to add the port. And if this is going to be the streaming port, you can put any name, but I'm going to call it the stream port. And it's going to be 1935. As you can see here, it's 1935. And the connection type is going to be TCP. So we got TCP by default. You're going to add that. So we got the streaming port at 1935. We're going to add now the path where the Nginx configuration is going to be. So we're going to put Nginx config. We're going to put slash etc slash and gnx slash just make sure that you have that second one here because I tried it like this and 
it didn't work. Have to have that one. And for the holes, we're going to use the catch. So we're going to hit here, the double dot. We're going to go catch, we're going to add data. And we're going to use this folder right here, nginx slash rtmp. If this is not going to be created, so you can actually just create it by writing it next to it. And that's everything that you have to do. So you add it. Once it's added, you're going to see that this is the configuration file where it's going to be. This is where the container is going to be. We're going to hit apply. Once we hit apply successfully, we're going to go to the Docker. It's actually running because I like I already had my configuration inside that. So that's why it is is running. We check the log, it says that there's no error. So I'm just gonna stop the container because in case of you're installing it for the first time, it's actually gonna be stopped because it's gonna present an error on the log saying that there's no configuration file. So to get to the configuration file, we're just gonna go the terminal we're gonna cd into mount user actually mount sorry cache app data and the new folder nginx rntp here you're gonna see there's an ngn configuration file but should, you shouldn't have none so i'm just gonna remove it for the sake of the video so it should be blank. So a lot of people like to use VI. Most it's easier for me using Nano for writing this. So ngnx.com. And you see it's going to be a blank. So for if you want to just test this, if it's working, you just go keep scrolling down into the tutorial and you can copy and paste this into your um, configuration file. But I already did a configuration file for two streams. That is this one. I'm going to leave it down in the description below so you can actually do multiple streams between YouTube and Twitch at the same time through Streamlab. So we're going to open up here. Um, I got my keys blacked out because they are my private keys. But in case you're wondering, the here I left an example RTM server and slash the stream key. You can find that in Twitch and in YouTube. If you see, I put the Facebook stream below not working because it's a RTMPS server. I already tested. It's not working. So I'm just going to copy and paste this into my configuration file. Paste. So once we got it here, if you gonna gonna so show you really quick where you can find that information uh, here I got I'm gonna leave this link also in the description this is for my area is in the New York area Virginia area that's where the recommended ingest endpoints are for streaming to Twitch so this I selected the one for New York this is the closest one for me and you see a stream key where you can find this stream key. You go into your Twitch settings and you go into channel and video. And in the top, you say says here primary stream key right here where it says primary stream key. You only have to hit copy. You don't have to see it. 
If you want to see it, you hit show. You copy it. Come back. And here, you make sure that right here after where it says app slash, you just paste it in there and that's it. The same with the YouTube key is after live too, but there are different keys. So to find that key, you're going to go into YouTube. You're going to go into create a video. Actually, you're going to hit like going actually for a live stream and you're going to go into stream now classic on the left. And once you're here on the bottom, as you can see, it says encoder setup. This is the server URL for the RTMP, but it's, a, it's the same one that I already have in the a, a configuration example for NGNX. And here's the stream key. So for this one, you actually have to hit reveal. Once you hit reveal, you're going to copy and you're going to paste it next to the live right here. Once you are set, you just hit control X, you hit Y for yes, and then you hit enter. And once that is done, we can close the terminal. We're going to go back to our Docker and we're going to start our Docker. Once we start our Docker, it should have no problem. You should see no errors in the log. So what we're going to do is we're going to show, we're going to go back to our channel. We're going to leave it there. We are already in a live stream room right here. So these streams to be able to work, both keys have to be correctly inputted. If not, you won't be able to stream. Now we're going to open Streamlabs really quick. As you see, this is my default banner. This is not actually what you're seeing. Twitch is not streaming yet. It's just that's the default banner that I have for the Streamlabs. So we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to stream and we're going to use here custom streaming server and this is your on rate server so you're going to put rtmp sl double slash um your server your on rate server ip and the port 1935 slash live and the key is only test it's a easy so you just test and you can find that now more on the tutorial on the bottom so as you can see custom server ip address for the on -ray server port live test as really easy so once you get you hit that you're done and the only thing we have left is to go live so here just testing an enx stream on rate um uh, this is for practically uh, Twitch information, you can change that later on Twitch. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, I'm going to unlink it from Twitter for the moment. You're just going to confirm, go live. And as you see, it says that we are already live. And we're going to go to Twitch. And in a second, you're going to see that I'm actually live. It says still offline, but I should be in a couple of seconds. You see, I'm already live. And to test that I'm live here, I'm just going to write hello in the chat box for Twitch. Hello. And as you see here, hello, right on live. And now here in YouTube, as you see, I'm also live in YouTube at the same time and to confirm that I'm actually live I'm just gonna run 
a video here that I made a couple weeks ago about um, a tutorial on Destiny 2. You can actually come go watch that video too. I'm going to leave, leave a link in the description below. And you're going to see Twitch live and YouTube live at the same time. And that's all for this video. If you find um, that this video was um, really uh, informal for you and you learn from it and you're going to put this for the test, um, just don't forget to like this video. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Also, follow me on my social media where I post information about new uploads that I'm going to be doing in this YouTube channel. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.